Star Trek Nexus tutorials. In this tutorial, we will focus on how to customize Windows 7 install media. This will allow unsupported Windows 7 to continue to run on modern PC devices. Microsoft ended mainstream support for Windows 7 on January 13, 2015. And extended support will end January 14, 2020. So installing Windows 7 on post-supported devices will be more challenging. The workaround is to customize the install media so your system will recognize Windows 7 is being installed. You will need a USB flash drive. Download the Windows 7 USB drivers, Windows 7 ISO, and use two software programs to complete the task. See description for more details. The driver in question is the USB 3.0 driver not built into the install media that can be found at various manufacturers' websites. Newer devices will not install Windows 7 with these drivers missing. This may extend to USB-C as well. Chip manufacturers like Intel and AMD have a page to download drivers. Lenovo, HP, and Dell have pages to download drivers as well. Links will be provided in the description. These are just examples. Please visit your PC or motherboard manufacturer for the correct drivers. Here is a screenshot of NT Lite, a program that we'll use to inject the drivers. Here is a screenshot of Ultra ISO, a program we will use to recreate the Windows 7 USB bootable flash drive. Steps in the following order. Attempting to boot to non-customized USB flash drive. What is display is the prompt for missing drivers. The wording is a little misleading. What is needed are USB 3.0 drivers so the USB flash drive is recognized. The system BIOS sees it, but the Windows installer doesn't. Perform these next steps on a separate workstation. Download the USB driver, in this case from Dell. Download NT Lite and Ultra ISO. See description for website addresses. Copy or download Windows 7 ISO to your local hard drive. See description for more details. This next step is to be performed on the target machine that you plan on installing Windows 7. If you get a prompt attempting to install Windows 7 on a hard drive that has GPT partition, follow these steps to remove it. The prompt may look similar to this with multiple partitions. In our case, we have just two. 
run this optional step on the target system with Windows 10 installed. Start menu, CMD. Run as administrator. Enter the following commands on the Windows 10 system. Disk part. List disk. Select disk one. Clean. Create partition primary. Select partition one. Active. Format, FS equals NTFS, quick. Assign. Exit. Exit. Insert USB flash drive. Make sure it is clear of any data. Create a new folder and label it Windows 7 install files. Place the Windows 7 ISO into the install files folder. Extract files or unzip here. Drill down to find the driver files that need to be imported. Make note of the path. This may vary depending on the driver downloaded. Install Ultra ISO. Install NT Lite. With image tab selected, add image file. Drill down to the following path and select install.wim. Select your preferred version, in this case, Professional. Right-click, Load. Integrate Drivers.
toolbar, add directory containing drivers. Drill down to path node in a previous step and select folder. x64 is selected in this case. If using 32-bit system, then choose x86. Apply. Process. Yes. Source. Right click one Microsoft Windows P X64 load. Drivers. Add directory containing drivers. Select same folder in previous step. Apply. Process. Yes. Source. Right click to Microsoft Windows Setup X64. Load. Drivers. Add directory containing drivers. Select same folder in previous step. Apply. Process. Yes. Source. Create ISO. We'll give it the same name as the original ISO file. Save it in downloads folder. OK. The customized ISO file is now created with the drivers needed. Close NT Lite and run Ultra ISO. File, open. Downloads, 
select customize ISO file, open. Bootable, write disk image. Make sure blank USB flash drive is selected. If any other external drives are attached, be sure to power off or eject now to prevent data loss. When ready, select right. Yes. Close. Close Ultra ISO. Our customized Windows 7 install media is ready. Eject USB flash drive. Insert USB flash drive into system. Press key to boot to USB flash drive. Check system manufacturer for what key to press. Select the USB flash drive from menu. Install now. Accept agreement. Next. Custom advanced. Select partition. Next. Windows 7 is now installing normally. Installation is complete. Check device manager for any other missing drivers. If there are any missing drivers, then download them from the manufacturer's website. Windows 7 with USB 3.0 support has been successfully installed on an updated system that doesn't originally support Windows 7. This concludes how to install Windows 7 with USB 3.0 support. All steps complete.